Elon Musk and Jack Ma final warning. This is the biggest economic problem the world is about to face. When it comes to the future of humanity, Tesla CEO Elon Musk and Alibaba founder Jack Ma disagree on whether people should be scared by the potential of artificial intelligence. Ma is optimistic about AI, while Musk is more apocalyptic. But the two billionaire businessmen do agree on the biggest problem the world will face in the future. Not enough people. Today we're going to talk all about what Elon Musk and Jack Ma think about the biggest economic problem the world is about to face. So watch the video till the end, because today's video is going to be the bomb. Welcome to Investor Secret, your daily dose of wealth secrets. If you're interested in everything around big investors and their investment techniques, this is the place for you. Subscribe if you want to stay updated with all the investor secrets, predictions, and stay one step ahead in the financial world. Watch the video till the end and make sure to hit the like button if you want to be a millionaire within the next three years. Don't forget to enable all notifications to join our weekly cash giveaway pinned in the comments. Now let's get to our topic. When it comes to the future of humanity, Tesla CEO Elon Musk and Alibaba founder Jack Ma disagree on whether people should be scared by the potential of artificial intelligence. Ma is optimistic about AI, while Musk is more apocalyptic. But the two billionaire businessmen do agree on the biggest problem the world will face in the future, not enough people. Most people think we have too many people on the planet. But actually this is an outdated view, Musk said while on stage with Ma at a World Artificial Intelligence Conference in Shanghai on Wednesday. Assuming there is a benevolent future with AI, I think the biggest problem the world will face in 20 years is population collapse. The biggest issue in 20 years will be population collapse, not explosion, collapse. I absolutely agree with that, Ma said. The population problem is going to be facing huge challenges. 1.4 billion people in China sounds like a lot. But I think in the next 20 years, we will see this thing bring big trouble to China. And the speed of population decrease is going to speed up. You call it a collapse, he said to Musk. I agree with you. Yeah, accelerating collapse, Musk said. Fears of overpopulation due to immigration are short-sighted, according to Musk. The common rebuttal is like, well, what about immigration? I'm like, from where? Musk and Ma may be aggressive with their time frame, but by 2070, the global fertility rate is expected to fall below the global replacement fertility rate. That's the average number of children each woman needs to give birth to for the population to replace itself from one generation to the next, according to a recent analysis of United Nations global population data from the Pew Research Center. The current global replacement rate is 2.1 births. The current global fertility rate is 2.5, but is expected to fall to 1.9 by 2100. Fertility rates vary widely, but Africa is the only global region expected to have strong population growth through 2100. Populations in Europe and Latin America are projected to be declining by 2100. Asia's population is projected to increase through 2055 and then begin to decline, according to Pew. For some regions, especially in poor countries, rising fertility rates cause a burden on the already stressed social infrastructure systems. But in countries like China, a slowing population is cause for concern. For example, due to decades of birth restrictions in China, from the 70s until 2015, Chinese couples were required to have only one child. Ever increasing economic opportunities for women and increasing longevity, China now has a lopsided population. There are not enough young workers to support the growing population of older people. In January, a group of local academics, the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences, issued a warning to government leaders about the potential threat of population decline, the New York Times reported. What are the socio-economic consequences of long-term sustained negative population growth? From a theoretical point of view, the long-term population decline, especially with the aging of the aging, is bound to bring very unfavorable social and economic consequences, the report translated into English says. Why do population predictions matter? Understanding how populations could evolve matters because future population sizes underpin future strategies for governments and industries around the world. They need to plan for key investments in infrastructure or goals for international development and carbon emission reductions. A decline instead of an increase would have many implications. Our forecasts for a shrinking world population have positive implications for the environment, climate change, and food production, the researchers, led by Professor Stein Emil Volset, wrote, but possible negative implications for labor forces, economic growth, and social support systems. How do the world population predictions vary? The world population may peak in 2064 at 9.7 billion, 
and then declined to around $8.8 billion by 2100, the University of Washington researchers wrote in The Lancet. The UN's prediction of $10.9 billion by 2100 is based, at least in part, on the unprecedented aging of the world's population, as well as rapid population growth driven by high fertility in some countries and regions. Whereas the University of Washington's researchers argue that a population decline will be linked to the attainment of development goals, for example, the education of women and girls and their access to contraception. The different outcomes reflect the uncertainty in making projections over such a long time period, says Leontin Alkima, a statistical modeler at the University of Massachusetts Amherst, discussing discrepancies in population data for Nature article. It's kind of an impossible exercise, and so we do the best we can, and it's good that different groups use different approaches. Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk wants people to have more babies. There are not enough people, Musk told a Wall Street Journal event Monday. I can't emphasize this enough. There are not enough people, he said. The tech billionaire said low and rapidly declining birth rates are one of the biggest risks to civilization. His comments come as a growing number of people are deciding not to have children, citing concerns such as climate change and inequality. Musk added that too many good, smart people think there are too many people in the world and that the population is growing out of control. It's completely the opposite, Musk said, urging people to look at the data. If people don't have more children, civilization is going to crumble. Mark my words. When asked if this is why he has so many children, the father of six said he's trying to set a good example, adding that he has to practice what he preaches. Analysts at Morgan Stanley said in a note to investors in July that the movement to not have children owing to fears over climate change is growing and impacting fertility rates quicker than any preceding trend in the field of fertility decline. To support their argument, they pointed to surveys, academic research, and Google data that shows climate change is directly and indirectly accelerating the decline in fertility rates. UCLA researchers have shown that the number of births in the U.S. fell in the nine months following an extreme heat event while a study of 18,000 couples in China last year showed that climate change, and particulate pollution specifically, was associated with a 20% increased likelihood of infertility. Of course, if everyone stopped having children, then humanity would eventually cease to exist. A fringe group of antinatalists believe that's exactly what should happen, but most people don't share this view. Indeed, many people see having children as a fundamental human right, and one that can bring happiness and joy to families. Well, that's it for today's video, guys. Also, we would like to mention that this is not a channel intended specifically to provide financial advice, and we do not ask you to invest in any company. This is merely a channel directed towards bringing educational content to your doorsteps. With that in mind, before you invest in anything, we recommend you do thorough, wide-spectrum research on the topic. And make sure to subscribe and give us the thumbs up. See you next time on Investor Secret. Bye.